Welcome friends to Muskrat Links. Today we've got a very fun video. We're gonna be putting the oldest golf ball I could find up against the newest golf ball I could find. I had so much fun last time testing the urethane covered balls with the softness and the hardness. So today we are gonna be seeing what age plays for a factor. Well, we just got about a foot and a half of snow, so we spent the morning clearing out the driveway. I had the Muskrat Lynx grounds crew on it. Hey, we all did a good job trying to clear the driveway, so today we are certainly inside here on the simulator, and this is gonna be a very exciting test. I have no idea what the difference is gonna be between these two balls. I don't know what to expect. The club special was made in about 1960s, played through the 70s a little bit. And the LA golf ball, as you guys know, is a prototype golf ball. So this is the golf ball of the future. This doesn't even exist in the present, sort of. Anyway, I'll show you guys these two balls up close and we'll jump right into the test. Here is what we've got. We've got the brand new prototype LA golf ball and the Akushnet club special. This is gonna be a super fun test today. Let's see how they perform. You guys know how we do it here on Muskrat Links. We're gonna be doing the driver, the seven iron, the 56 degree wedge to see how they perform across the board. However, because the Akushnet Club Special is so fragile, I wanna save the 56 for last just in case it destroys the ball or if I cut it up. So we're gonna do seven iron first, then driver, then 56. We're starting with the Club Special. Let's see how she does. I've hit this ball once before when we did our, if you miss the green, the ball gets chopped in half challenge. And we hit the green. If you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. And while you're tabbing out, make sure to subscribe. We've got tons of fun stuff like this here on the Muskrat Links channel. Lots of cool ball experiments coming over the winter for you guys. So how is this experiment gonna go? I don't know, but it's gonna be a very fun one. Let's start out with a seven iron. Hopefully I can pure this thing on the first shot. I hit that thing very well actually, but it felt super, super soft. Yeah, that only went 133 out to 143. 6,400 backspin on that thing, but I could barely even tell the ball was there. That's how soft it felt, holy cow. Also, this ball was brand new. The first shot did do some damage to the cover, so I guess I'm glad I'm doing the seven iron the driver before I do the 56. Okay, let's see if she survives. Shot number two. I like shot number one, so let's see if we can do the same thing again. Pulled it a little bit, but it looks like it's gonna be about the same yardage on that thing, maybe a little bit further. Yep, got it out there a little bit deeper. 5,100 on the backspin there. Okay, okay. Again, I could barely feel that ball at all. It's crazy. I don't know if it's lighter or heavier in any sort of notable way. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments below some of the physical differences between these balls. Shot number three. Let's see if we can get one right down the line. That is just perfect. That's a beautiful looking shot. Dead straight, carrying out there 140 out to 150. Well, we might have found our range for that golf ball. Let's finish through our eight, and I'll see you guys when we're swapping over to the LA golf ball. That shot is cash money right down the line. Beautiful shape. We've got one more to go with the club special. On to shot eight out of eight here. I tell you, it has been a treat hitting this ball actually. It's so nice, it's so smooth, it's so soft. It just doesn't go anywhere. Another nice one to finish things off. That is a beauty. We've got everything right down there about the same yardage. That is it for our friend, the club special, the gifts of Christmas past. Wait, the ghost? The ball of Christmas past. Let's move on to the ball of Christmas future. Up next, we've got the LA Golf Ball, the prototype yet to be released. And just for clarification, there is 60 years between these two golf balls. 2023 for the LA Golf Ball, since it's not released yet. Early 1960s for the club special. That is a long, long time. Let's see what the numbers say about this. First shot with the LA golf ball, it is going a lot higher and a lot further. We just carried the max distance we had on the Akushnet Club Special. 169 yards, that's a pretty big distance gap right there. However, it definitely hurt a little bit more. Like I said, the Club Special was so soft and buttery to hit, it just didn't go anywhere. All right, let's hit some more with the LA golf ball. That's another good looking shot. Going left a little bit here, kind of pulled it, but I mean, that's kind of my miss on the simulator anyway. Carried 168 out to 180 with a backspin of 5,800. 
Okay, let's get through the rest of these and we'll see you at the end. Alrighty, that's a good set from the LA golf ball there. Feels good to be hitting a golf ball from this century. So last one here, then we'll graduate up to the driver. Looking really nice, absolutely piped. Carrying out there to what? 167 carry out to 178, 6,100 backspin. Those are some good numbers. We'll compare them at the end, but now the driver. If you guys watched the last video where we did the compression test on the urethane balls, I never really got any drive super far out there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get any there today either because pushing the snowblower around through the driveway, that's a lot of work. I'm not a strong man, right? Oh, thank you. Wait, LA Golf Ball driver test up first here. Let's see if we can put these down there. Nice and consistent. That's a pretty good first shot if I do say so myself. Not the longest tool in the shed, but 249 out to 274. 2700 backspin, a little bit high on that launch angle. We'll get that down a little bit and we'll keep rolling. Hello. You here to watch some golfies, Wavy? Ball number two with some audience in the background here. Maybe she'll make a visit for you guys, but let's see what we can do. Yeah. yeah. I hooked it wavy, yeah! <laughs> Even still, 239 carry out to 271. A bit snappy, but we'll leave that one in there, why not? Last shot up here with the LA Golf Ball. Still have the audience in the background checking us out. Got some good numbers, but nothing too crazy, so we'll see if we can send this one down there and move on to the club special. That is a good one to end up on indeed. Beautiful ball right down the pipe, 265 carry out to 292. 2,500 backspin right on the number. Lovely. All right, a Cushnet club special. How do you perform? Hello. Do you want to hit one, Wavy? Yeah, come hit one. Ready? Let's hit it together. Okay, that's the golf ball. You want to hit it with me? Yeah, should we swing the golf club? That's where we're going. You ready? Stand like this. Yeah, yeah. Ready? We're going to count to three, then we're going to swing, okay? One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> Look, there it goes. You crushed it. Yay! I need those backspin numbers, Wavy. That's what I need. And good shot. My first question is, will the club special even survive being hit? Probably, right? I mean, it's a good golf ball. It's just a really, really old golf ball. All right, first test of the marshmallow. Oh, wait, we have to delete Wavy's drive. Hold. Okay, now it's time for the first test of the marshmallow. I am very, very curious about this. Here goes nothing. <laughs> that's an interesting sound, that's for sure. That is a frozen rope going down the range. 208 carry out to 233. Honestly, that's not bad. You like it. Clap, clap, clap. Yeah! More golf, more golf. Ball speed of 133 though, my goodness. Shot number two with the club special. Zero spin on that at all for side spin. Can we replicate that? I need that on my normal driver, come on. Another dart flying down range. 196 carry out to 221. Poof, we can get that launch angle up, then we'll be in business. Last shot with the club special. Pretty sure I just broke the club special ball speed record at 137. If you can break 137 ball speed with a club special, let me know down in the comments, but all right, let's give this a rip. Then we'll hop on over to the 56 degrees. Down the fairway she goes, bit of a fade on that one. Might be tempted to call that a slice, but all right. Those are the numbers on the club special out to 219, 3200 backspin. All right, 56 degree here, can we survive? 56 is up next, club special is up first. Will our outer coating be able to survive the damage that this 56 puts out? We will see, and then we'll move on to the LA Golf Ball for the last round, and then we'll check out the data. Definitely felt heavy off the club face on that one, big thump as it hit the screen, but yardage wise, it's pretty close. 92 carry, 96 yards total with 9,400 backspin. Not too bad, right, Wavy? Well, we survived shot number one. Let's see if shot number two fares any better. And honestly, those numbers are pretty good. Pretty close to what I normally do. Looking like we're heading just about in the same place, maybe a smidge shorter. 
91 carry out to 95, 9200 on the backspin. Pretty good, honestly, pretty good. Really nice shot to end off on there. Gonna be right in there. Look at that nice tight grouping with the 56 degree. Beautiful. Yay! Yay! You guys better like the video too. And subscribe, be sure to subscribe. All right. Let me clean this club and then we'll go on to the LA golf ball. Just gotta wash all the old out of my golf club real quick. Last test before we hit the data, we've got the LA golf ball, eight shots, 56 degree. Let's see how it performs. Looking good, much higher ball flight, a little bit further as well. Well, I guess that's a good amount further, maybe like 10, 20% further. 9,700 backspin. Let's line up shot number two and see what happens. Shot two looking good as well, just bouncing there in front. Not quite as far as the last one, but 10,100 backspin on that guy. All right, I'll catch you guys at the end and then we'll check out this data and really see where the difference lies. Last ball up here, let's make it a good one and round off our data set. A good one indeed, heading down there, landing nicely in our 90 plus zone, 97 total, 9,800 backspin. All right, let's dive into this data and talk about what this means. Here we are back in our data analysis area. I love diving in here and seeing what these numbers actually say. So with the seven iron club special up first here, we had 101 ball speed, about 6,000 backspin, uh, carry distance of 136 out to 146. And these flight numbers are gonna be more important for us here because that's what I wanna compare. So we had five seconds of flight with our height of 19, yards apparently so 19 yards is our kind of apex of the flight compare that with the seven iron for the la golf ball we've got 14 miles per hour more ball speed on the new golf ball from 2023 that's crazy backspin was a little bit less distance of course is going to be significantly more 165 out to 178 and then those flight numbers we were talking about 6.2 seconds in the air with a 30 yard apex. That is such a big difference. That's almost a 50% difference on the apex. And what is that? Like a, an 18%, 20% difference on the flight time. So that is some crazy numbers right there. All right, let's check and see how the drivers did. We hit the LA golf ball up first here. We had 150 ball speed, 2300 backspin with a carry of 253 rolling out to 281. Again, uh, 6.6 .6 seconds in the air on average with a apex of 29 yards. Club special on the other hand, 19 miles per hour less on the ball speed, spin about 700 RPMs more. And then those numbers, of course, big difference. 197 yard carry. I carried it about, what is that? 56 yards further with the new golf ball. 221, again, that's about the same 60 yard difference between a golf ball from the 60s and a golf ball from the 2020s. So apparently every year you get about another yard on your golf ball because 60 years equals 60 yards apparently. So that is very cool. Flight time, not super different. We had about another second on the LA golf ball and our apex was 10 yards or 30 feet lower on the club special. So those are some interesting numbers, that's for sure. All right, let's see what the 56 did. I'm just gonna show you guys these numbers at the same time. So up top, we have the LA golf ball, 56 degree ball speed of 73 compared to 81. So we got some more ball speed, of course, there as well. The spin numbers is really what I'm curious about though. So we had about 9,000 backspin on the club special and 9,700 on the LA golf ball. That's not as big a difference as I was predicting. The LA golf ball is a little bit lower spinning anyway. Usually if I'm hitting you know, a Pro V1X or something else, I can get up to about 10,500. But still, those numbers are very close for being 60 years apart. Distances, well, we had about a 10 yard difference between these two flying 85 and rolling out to 89 on the club special, flying 94 and rolling out to 98 on the LA golf ball. Uh, our flight statistics here, again, a little bit longer in the air for the LA golf ball and a little bit higher as well. Makes sense. All right, let's wrap this thing up and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. That is gonna be it for today's video, guys. We learned a lot about the difference between a golf ball from 60 years ago and a golf ball from next year, essentially. 
there's about 60 yards difference between the drivers on these balls and the flight times were completely different as well on the seven iron and the wedges. However, the club special did stand up. It was a lot more resilient than I thought it was gonna be. So that was pretty cool to see. If you guys have any more fun challenges you wanna see me test out here on the simulator, let me know down in the comments below. We're heading into the Christmas season. Content's gonna slow down maybe a little bit, but we've got some super, super fun stuff planned as well as the Sim League, which is coming up very shortly here. But I think that's gonna be it for me. Have fun out there, everyone.